So many of us are either working from home or just spending a little extra time in the house. And if you're starting to look at that clutter and think you could use some help, well, our next guest is sure to help you do just that. Katie Newley joins us now. She's the founder of KMA Organizing. Good morning. Good morning. I'm happy to I be think here. This is yeah, well, I think this is a, a perfect fit right now. You know, it's still the beginning of the year. People might have a resolution to just get reorganized and maybe take some of that anxiety away, you know, even just their day-to-day -day being at home and, and seeing all that clutter. I know I myself, I have like this dumping ground in my house, that one table that gets everything thrown on it. I'm sure I'm not alone, but between tables, countertops, closets, you can help us kind of get a better grasp on things, right? Yeah, and you're definitely not alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to know. So let's jump right in because you have four tips to keep in mind. Um, the first of which is making that commitment. If you are thinking of taking this change, commit to it. Yeah, and that's a huge first step. Um, if you're not willing to commit to it, if you're not willing to commit to anything really you need to, you're not going to be able to accomplish it. So really set, getting in the mindset that you're going to get organized, you're going to declutter is really important first step. Uh, and it can seem very overwhelming. So your next piece of advice is to make a plan. Yeah. So making a plan is extremely important. Whether I work with clients, we always, um, you know, my first thing I go through their entire house, we make a plan of the different spaces that we're going to work through. Um, but writing it down and really knowing when you're going to do it, putting it on your calendar um, is very helpful also. You mentioned going through people's homes. Um, are you doing some like virtual walkthroughs given the times? I am doing virtual walkthroughs, but I also am working with clients in person as well, you know, Great. both masked up. Um, mm -hmm. And, but yeah, since COVID, I've started doing more virtual organizing sessions, which is a whole new adventure. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's nice to know that you can still help and be right there with us every step along the way. Now, sometimes a project, like we said, we talked about it being overwhelming. So make that plan, but then take your own personal project and break it up, right? Yeah. So break it into, you know, attainable blocks of time. So when I work with clients, we work for three hours, but most of the time people can't focus for that long. Mm -hmm. um, so setting your timer for 30 minutes, working on your closet for 30 minutes or doing one drawer at a time, kind of just starting off slowly um, and fitting it into the time that you do have is important. And no matter what you accomplish, whether it's in 10 minutes or an hour, you feel really good once you're done with it. Yeah, totally. And sometimes even just like that one drawer that you organize mm -hmm. gets you motivated to do a kitchen cabinet or, you know, so it, it, Baby steps is good. <laughs> Certainly. Um, last but not least, obviously, organize. And that's what you help us do. But we should stay organized, I'm sure, as we're trying to do the organization. Yeah. And the because making a plan is important, but the actual organizing, obviously, is what we want to accomplish. So, you know, the first thing I do is get with people is get rid of as much stuff as possible. And then you know, put things into categories based on what you have left, um, containerize those things and, you know, change your, the, the system can change. Um, you know, we set up a system, but based on how it works for us, we, ch you know, change it as it goes. Well, perfect. Yeah. You got to be flexible, right? Because life happens or maybe then all of a sudden you, you have a kid and you got to reorganize or you're doing something different with a certain room. Katie, this is all uh, really helpful information. I know you touched upon four key things, but if folks want to work with you even further, we're going to put a link up to your website on ours. That's roadshow.com.